found yourself facing a rampaging shaman, and you accidentally left all your Pokeballs in your other pants, so you need to fight it on your own. Don't worry, bro. I gotcha. Here's how to beat every mythical Pokemon in a fight. Mew. Physically, Mew is pretty weak. Just force it into a hot car for a few hours, and, like an unwanted child, the problem will take care of itself. Just remember to take it out after. The last thing you want is the smell of Mew baked into your car. Trust me, it will never come out. Celebi. Celebi are naturally very peaceful creatures, so if you have one attacking you, you probably screwed up big time. I get it, lighting forest fires is a fun hobby, but be careful about which ones you burn down. Anyway, the easiest way to stop it is to catch it in a big net like Crocker trying to catch fairy godparents. Once trapped, it will be helpless and you can continue your delightful arsonistic activities. Jirachi. All Jirachi are recovering alcoholics, so it's easy to use this to your advantage. With a little peer pressure, you can easily get Jirachi behind the wheel after pounding a couple of four locos. Now, all you have to do is call the cops and stick a DUI charge. Deoxys. So, Deoxys has four forms, but luckily for you, all of them have gambling addictions. If you do find yourself in an altercation with one, ask it if it wants to go to the casino. This will snap it out of any rage, just make sure you leave before it gambles away all of its money. If that happens, it'll be way more angry than before. Fioni. One of the Guardians of the Sea, this Pokemon can easily be taken care of by polluting its environment. To fight Fioni, just throw some car batteries into the ocean. You should throw car batteries into the ocean. Take car batteries and throw them into the ocean. Throw car batteries Manaphy. Like Fioni, it is a sea creature so the car battery trick will work. However, I'll give you a second method since I'm feeling generous today. You can easily take care of it by dumping plastic straws into the ocean. Dump plastic straws into the ocean. Plastic straws are gray in the ocean. Major Mystery does not endorse polluting the ocean. Darkrai. Alright, I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. Darkrai is gonna be tough. First thing it's gonna do is put you to sleep, but luckily you've been practicing lucid dreaming. Once you fall asleep, change the dream so that Darkrai is giving a speech in front of the whole school. Suddenly, make it so it's only wearing its underwear. At this point, it'll be so embarrassed that it'll run away in tears. Shaman. Look at this little guy. So tiny and adorable. Fortunately for you, that means you can easily beat the crap out of it. Shaman are small, so just get a big boot and step on it like a roach. However, like roaches, there's a chance it'll suddenly sprout wings and start flying. If that's the case, try not to scream, and just grab your anti-shaman spray and blast that sucker. Arceus. First, you need to install Genshin Impact. Next, you need to buy a body pillow of your favorite waifu. Then, you need to make sure that you absolutely do not take a shower under any circumstances. Finally, make a Reddit account and head to r slash atheist. After completing these steps, you'll suddenly sprout a neckbeard and become the average internet atheist. After all, the god of Pokemon can't do anything to you if you don't believe in it, right? Victini. You need to act fast since this guy is quick. To nullify it, you need to blast it point blank with a fire extinguisher. Once this is accomplished, it'll be easy to grab by its big dumbass ears and then use that leverage to swing it around like a sack of potatoes. Keldeo. Meloetta. This Pokemon has a very bossy attitude. Light up a cigarette and it can't help again your face and yell at you for smoking around it. Just blow smoke in his face and yes, this will piss it off, but when it starts yelling again, just blow more smoke. Eventually, if you do this enough, it will get sick of your bullshit and storm off. Genesect. Genesect is the type of Pokemon to agree with any opinion someone else says because they lack self-confidence and are desperate for validation. Literally, all you need to do is say that you disagree with them, and you can watch them backtrack and fold instantly. It's hilarious! Diancie. Hoopa. If a Hoopa is giving you trouble and trying to start a fight with you, just make fun of it for liking Adele. Hoopa are huge Adele fans, but get really defensive about it if you bring it up. Eventually, it'll get fed up and sulk off. You need to be really careful, though. If you push too hard, it may enter its unbound form and beat the shit out of you. There's no stopping it in this state. Volcanion. If you ever have problems with this, just let me know and I'll call up my homie, Homer Simpson. Yeah, we go way back. We used to go to middle school with each other. Anyway, a while ago, he ate some weird-ass gloop and became some sort of giant blob. Just point him in the direction of this rampaging Pokemon, and he'll think it's a donut and take care of your problems. No questions asked. Magearna. 
I used to date this really nice woman with three kids and a bum ex-husband. She needed help taking care of the house, so she hired a Magirna to help out. The thing is, weird things started happening to me. Kinda like someone was trying to intentionally sabotage me. Eventually, after almost being killed, I discovered that the Magirna was actually her ex-husband in disguise. If you experience weird things after a Magirna suddenly appears in your life, odds are it's a man in disguise trying to bring your downfall. You'll need to act quickly before it's too late. Call the cops, beat it up yourself, doesn't matter. Time is of the essence. Marshadow. This Pokemon lives in the shadows. If you're being attacked by one, odds are you're in a dark alley and trying to steal your wallet. Luckily, you always carry your 200,000 lumen flashlight. Just crank that bad boy on and watch as that sucker's blasted with the concentrated power of the sun. This will render it completely helpless against the onslaught of your fists. Zeraora. This Pokemon's entire gimmick is fighting with electricity, so once you take that away, it's an easy fight. The most simple way to do this is to wear a rubber or latex suit. Just borrow one from your parents. I'm sure they have one or two in their closet. Once suited up, you'll be confused as to why its attacks have no effect. This will give you the perfect opportunity to attack. Meltan. Big ass magnet. It's that easy. They'll stick to the magnet like magnetic putty, rendering it immobile. Melmetal. The Pokemon Wiki says that this Pokemon can rust, so using this to your advantage, you have to bait the Melmetal into attacking you near a Fire Hydrant. Next, simply roll out the way at the last second. With any luck, it breaks open the Hydrant and gets blasted with the power of Neptune. Zarude. This guy's chill as hell. I mean, look at him. All you need to do is dap him up. He's not going to start a fight with you because after his girl broke his heart, he became Buddhist, so he's entirely non-violent. Well, that's it. I hope you all survive your encounters with any wild mythical Pokemon. Please leave me a comment saying which one you think you could take in a fight. Also, I plan on branching out and exploring more games, so let me know what you thought of this video. Don't worry, I'll be done with the Pyro video soon. If you feel that I tickled your laugh box, please subscribe. Speaking of which, I just wanted to thank you all for a thousand subscribers. I did not expect so many people to give so much positive feedback. I genuinely appreciate it. Well, I'm going to pretend I'm a dog and bark at elderly women. Goodbye.